in this video. I'm gonna show you how to play Scars by Papa Roach off of their album, Getting Away With Murder. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, alt rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Papa Roach was your favorite band of the 2000s. And let's dive in. going to be in drop C sharp tuning. So all of our strings are going to be down a half step, strings one through five down a half step, and then the low E string goes all the way down to C sharp. The intro is going to have the guitar ringing out these chords. So it'll sound like this. So what we're doing there is basically just ringing out different power chords. So we're gonna start on this 10th fret, sixth string power chord. So we're in drop C sharp, so the power chord is just barring six, fifth, and fourth strings. Then we'll go down to the fifth fret. Then we move to this regular shape power chord on the fifth string, fifth fret. And then we go down to third fret, sixth string, power chord. So we have this so far. Okay, and this next chord is the only chord that isn't a, an official power chord. So what we're doing with this shape is we have ring finger, fifth fret, sixth string index finger, third fret, fifth string, and then pinky, fifth fret, fourth string. Let me go back to the fifth fret, sixth string, then to the fifth fret, fifth string power chord, then down to third fret, up to fifth fret, and then we enter the verse. So one more time, all together, that intro guitar. And now we're into the verse. The verse is gonna be using power chords, but we're also gonna be playing individual notes at the same time. So I'll play through it once, it sounds like this. So we'll start with the power chord shape. So in this case, we're starting on the seventh fret power chord, sixth string. And then we're gonna be using the pinky a lot here to move and play individual notes. So we hit seventh fret power chord. Then we're on the 10th fret of the fourth string with the pinky. Then down to ninth fret, and then over to 10th fret of the fifth string. And I'm strumming all of those strings every time I strum, and we're gonna be playing quarter notes here. So it's just down, down, down. 
Okay, so the first hit, second hit, third hit, fourth hit. And then we move down to the next chord. In this case, that's down to second fret. And we're up to fifth fret, third string. Fourth fret, third string. Fifth fret, fourth string. So that sequence is down, 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 down. So, so far, those first two chord sequences Okay, at this point, we go up to the third fret. Now this one's gonna be a reach. You have to reach your pinky all the way up to the seventh fret of the third string. Then down to fifth fret. Then back over to seventh fret of the fourth. So that sequence looks like this. And then we go up to the fifth fret. Now this time, we're gonna hit the seventh fret of the third string again. And I play with my ring finger. You can keep using your pinky if you want. I play with the ring finger here. Then down to the fifth fret, so we'll just bar sixth, fifth, fourth, and third string now with the index finger. So we have... And then we reach down, ninth fret, fourth string with the pinky. So all together, that verse part sounds like this. Let's play it slow. And then we just repeat that again. And then we kick into the chorus. The chorus is gonna sound like this. Okay, so what I'm doing there is the same chord sequence that we were using in the intro part. Now we just have more of a right hand rhythm happening. So we're gonna start on the 10th fret, sixth string power chord. Then down to fifth fret. And then over to fifth fret, fifth string. We go down to the third fret. You can include your pinky here. You don't have to, you can just use this standard power chord shape. But if you wanna add some, if you wanna add a higher pitch here, you can add the pinky to the fifth fret of the third string. Slide that up to the fifth fret. And then we'll jump into that chord that isn't the traditional power chord shape. So just like in the intro, we'll jump into this chord. So again, that's fifth fret, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, and then fifth fret, fourth string. Then to fifth fret again, fifth fret, fifth string, third fret, fifth fret, and then we'll kick into the verse again. The right hand rhythm for that chorus section is just this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now it changes here. So right there it's more about feel, but what I'm doing is down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So one more time through the chorus.
At this point, we'll play through a second verse, a second chorus, and then a third verse the exact same way as we played the others. And then we go into the breakdown. So in the breakdown, we're gonna repeat the intro guitar part. So it's the same chord structure, just letting the chords ring out. <laughs> Okay, and then the second part of this breakdown, we're gonna use the exact same chord structure again. We're just gonna hit the chords twice now. Okay, and now into the third segment of the breakdown, we're gonna palm mute the same chord structure. We just hit that third fret power chord on the sixth string one time. And then there's a short little vocal part. And then we'll kick into the last chorus. Before we do that, let's go through the entire breakdown guitar. So it sounds like this in the breakdown from the top. And then we kick into the last chorus. Was Papa Roach the best emo band name? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me and remember, Hug the gingers in your life, because we do, in fact, have souls. <laughs>